Good morning, everyone. This mouse is back in the house. Hope everybody is having a wonderful weekend. Uh, this is uh, from the model kit show I went to, uh, which would be two weeks ago uh, when this video comes out. I did post a video during the middle of the week, if all plans went accordingly, of some models I did pick up from that large estate sale I bought. So if you missed that during the middle of the week, because I don't usually post in the middle of the week, just trying to get some more videos out there uh, and getting backed up on stuff as well. Um, but I did post a short video uh, in the middle of the week of the couple of models I got from that. Um, so I got a bunch of stuff. Some 132nd scale, uh, some airliners, some snap tight model cars, obviously a large uh, already built Corvette, uh, a good amount of 148th scale, uh, and then a bulk is a uh, 172nd scale. Uh, so I'm going to pause the video and come back and I'll do each uh, scale individually. Um, I'll start with the large items and work my way down. So if you're looking for the smaller scale stuff, it'll be towards the end of the video. Alright, I figured I'd start off with the large orange car. Um, bought some other stuff from this guy and he asked me if I wanted it. Um, he just basically gave it to me. Uh, there are some condition issues. One of the tires blown out. Uh, the other one's missing, but I do have it. Uh, just needs to be reattached. And went through, for the most part, I have all the pieces to it. I think the only thing I was missing was one of the tops. Um, but, yeah, can't pass up free. Then bought a snap -tight Camaro. A friend of mine, uh, her kid, I gave a snap -tight X Wing to uh, for Christmas. And she said he's been talking about that. Uh, I did pick him up an airplane at another show. But I wasn't sure how much he'd like the airplane. Uh, and then I found this car at this show. So he's coming over next weekend. Um, hanging out with us for the day while they do some stuff. Uh, so I figured maybe uh, see if he likes this one and uh, build that one together. I'll give him the option. I have the airplane still too. See which one he prefers to try to put together. And also grabbed this snap tight uh, 132 scale uh, truck. Uh, the guy really didn't want it, so I got an incredible deal on it. Um, probably going to end up selling it, uh, but we'll see. Let's see how the other car goes. All right, let me grab the next group of stuff. It's going to be 130 uh, second scale. All right, so this is the 130 second scale stuff. Uh, I'm going to say this uh, probably before each group in case somebody skips ahead. I do sell on eBay, um, and this is coming out, I'm making this video a week before it comes out, so hopefully during this week, uh, I'll get all this stuff on eBay, so a lot of it might already be on by the time you see this, and some of it might even be sold. Um, a few things I might throw on Facebook just to see if anybody's interested. Uh, Facebook's kind of been uh, spotty, but uh, we'll see. So. Anyway, he's got the 132nd scale Al, or the, or the Hinkle uh, Night Fighter. It's all there and complete. I uh, got a 132nd scale Corsair. Um, this is by Century 21 Toys. I believe this one is one of those ones that you still have to glue together, but everything's pre-painted. Uh, it's still sealed in the box, so I can't show you. Uh, and then this is supposedly a really nice kit, uh, Kitty Hawk. The UV-10 Bronco, uh, it's all there as well. Um, also, like I said, I do have eBay. I don't know if I mentioned. I do sell also directly if anybody is interested. Um, kind of cut out the middleman and the cost there. You can save some money and, and you know, stuff like that. I, I can ship, uh, especially these items. I don't mind. So anybody, you know, interested in something, you know, hit me up or just go to my eBay page and buy it that way if you feel more comfortable doing that. I'll put eBay down in the uh, below in the description. Okay, next group is 148 scale. Uh, I did pay up a little bit for these. Uh, Royal class uh, P51D Mustang. Uh, this is actually two kits in one box. Uh, if you guys don't know Royal class, it's a uh, more high end uh, stuff, uh, a little more expensive. I did pay up for this. So this is one of the ones I might uh, put on Facebook Marketplace 
before selling on eBay to kind of cut out those fees I have to pay. Uh, you know, give somebody a little bit better deal than they would on eBay. I can maybe make a little bit more than I would on eBay. I'll get a little bit better uh, turn back on my investment. Uh, same thing with this one, a BF109 uh, Royal Class. Uh, again, two kits in this one as well. Great Wall Hobbies, Black Widow. We have the uh, Maryland Bomber uh, by FM Models, uh, which also, I believe, is the same molds as, I believe, what is it, Special Hobbies? Was Something like that. There's, there's another one that makes the same model kit. Um, it's, it's, it might have been, Special Hobbies doesn't sound right, but it might be right. Um, anyways, I'm in Maryland, so that's kind of cool. Um, ICM, Bad Glare. Dio 215. We got J88 by Dragon. The Havoc Bomber uh, A20. Uh, ATM kit. A Talier uh, B22 Osprey. And then some Jets, uh, the F4 or FJ4 Fury uh, by Phoenix. Uh, Fujimi, uh, T-38 Talon, and the British uh, Buccaneer by Airfix. So like I said, anybody, uh, go to my eBay page. Uh, hopefully this will all be listed already, but maybe you might have missed them because some might be sold by the time this video comes out. Like I said, also you can just contact me directly and we can always work something out. Uh, let me grab the 170 second scale stuff now. Okay, I'm going to have to split up the 172nd scale into two groups. Uh, it's the stuff I had the most of. So I'll just run through them real quick. You got the Rodin. A12, or AN12. Uh, Cub. Uh, it's the military version and civilian version. The Boeing B-50D Super Fortress by Academy. The RB-50G... Reconnaissance version, also by Academy. I uh, do have one armored kit. Uh, it's a big railway gun, uh, 172nd scale by Hesigawa. Supermodel ho uh, Hobbies, uh, Bomb and Voss, BV138 uh, flying boat. That's a really cool plane. Uh, a special Hobbies. Bomb and Voss 155V1. We got the V156B Chesapeake, uh, which I believe is a Vindicator, but the British version. And then a couple A model kits uh, Yak 25, different version of the Yak 25, a Yak 28. And an I-215. Alright, let me grab the next group of 172nd scale. Alright, here's the next group of 172nd scale. Got a lot of Japanese naval uh, World War II airplanes. Uh, the Betty Bomber with the guided uh, kamikaze bomb underneath it. Uh, actually picked up two of those. Uh, when the price is right, we buy anyway. Because uh, like I said, we're just reselling. So, uh, also have a Nell bomber, and got two of them, different, slightly different version. Uh, Francis torpedo bomber. We got Dana a reconnaissance airplane, or this is a, re a reconnaissance trainer uh, version, and also picked up Nick. Uh, these are all made by Hesigawa. And a few of them were uh, limited edition ones. Uh, sticking with Hesigawa, we'll go to the S3 Viking aircraft. And then a Fujimi uh, E2 Hawkeye. Uh, and that's all for the 172nd scale stuff. Uh, and last I have the airliners to show you. Okay, nothing too crazy on the airliners. I'm not... I've had a few airliners in the past, so I know a few, 
but I don't know airliners uh, like I should or could. Um, but one guy, that's all he was selling was airliners. Uh, so I picked up a couple that I thought was nice, and he actually threw in uh, this one here. It's a Heller kit. Uh, it's all there. Uh, this needs glued back together. He said nothing's actually broken. It's just kind of apart. So uh, then I picked up a 125th scale uh, Heller DC-10. And also picked up the L-1011 uh, Lockheed TriStar. And I always kind of knew like the tri-engine ones did kind of good. And like I said, the price was you know good enough I'd take a chance on them. And I kind of looked them up when I got back. I think I did pretty well. Um, so that concludes this really long video. Uh, thank you if you made it all the way through to the end. Um, appreciate everybody. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the weekend. And I'll catch you next week because I definitely have more videos to put out.